All right, guys, I'm back with my hidden wonders of tween life. Hidden wonder number three is the stepped ease. Now, the stepped ease is something that came about uh, in direct response to a user request on the forums. Um, a guy said, hey, you know what? I have some tweens. Um, I want to change some properties, but I don't want it to be all smooth and silky like your normal tween light tween. I want it to be a little herky-jerky. Um, so right here, I want to uh, demonstrate how we can use a stepped ease. Right now, I have this little thingy sliding across the stage and it's changing color fading from white to blue and sort of doing this pulse um, but maybe we wanted to simulate how this would run on a computer 10 years ago and flash at 12 frames per second um, on a 200 megahertz computer so welcome the stepped ease and the stepped ease allows you to perform a tween but break it down into a number of steps so instead of smoothly tweening something it's going to just go to how many little breakpoints, if you will, in between the starting values and the ending values. And the best way to demonstrate this is, of course, with video. So here, let's just focus on the motion right now, okay? Here, we've called this guy Box MC. We're taking four seconds to move 400 pixels along the x-axis. I'm going to use a special kind of ease called the stepped ease. The stepped ease was created in order to accomplish this effect. Um, I don't need to import anything special to use the stepped ease. Um, it's all part of the normal public green sock classes. You don't have to be a member, nothing, none of that stuff. And so here, the ease that I'm using is called stepped ease, and we're telling it how many steps to create. So let's start off with four steps, okay? So if I have to move 400 pixels over four seconds, I'm basically going to get one step per second and each step is going to move 100 pixels. Let's give it a watch. Boom, 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 boom. So there you go. There was four booms, all right? One more time. One, two, three, four steps. Now, if I don't want to have so much space in between each step, maybe I'll do uh, 20 steps, okay? There you go. So you have sort of your Pac-Man style tween there. Um, let's talk about that fading that we were doing, okay? What if I want to do just a very quick or slow blink? All right, I don't want to have a smooth fade from white to blue. Um, I'm going to turn on this tween. Here's my normal tint tween with a yo-yo. And you'll see we're fading in and out from white to blue. It's really nice. But what if I want something that just flashes really quick? Well, again, stepped ease to the rescue. I'm not going to use yo-yo anymore. Okay. But what I'm going to do is right here, just boom, paste in my stepped ease. And I'm going to have one step. So it's either going to be white or blue. White or blue back and forth. And here, bump. So there I have a blink. Oh, I want to speed that up. Well, all I have to do is maybe quicken the duration. And so there you go. So we're now using a tweening engine to do these stepped sort of transformations, which is really pretty sick. Now, if we combine these two things, all right, we'll have the motion and the blinking. There you go. All right. You can play with the timing, tweak it however you want. And using the stepped ease and these sorts of tweens, I have another example here where I've built a whole timeline um, consisting of maybe four or five tweens, and I'm appending all of them into one timeline. We're using stepped ease in all of them, and you'll see right now we have this more elaborate sequence of tweens where this little guy is moving left to right, top to bottom, and he's blinking the whole way through. So again, stepped ease has some pretty cool um, uses and uh, it's up to your creativity to uh, check it out. So there we go. Wonder number three, stepped ease. It's free for all. Stay tuned for step four.